This is a review of the Triangle Eye Mop. Um, it has a bottom system that looks like this. Sorry, it's only dirty because I put it on the floor. Um, I'm testing out here in the bathroom. As you can see, there are five culprits in this house. Two humans, two dogs, and a cat. This is the reservoir system. I have some warm water in here. Um, I haven't filled it up all the way to this edge. Um, I'm going to use the rest of that to fill up with some cleaner, 50% off. And then this is the top part that I'll be putting on. Um, and so yeah, this bathroom, I love to just get dirty enough um, so that I could test out this mop and show you how it works. I don't expect it to pick up these bigger parts, um, but I do hope that it gets all the dog fur or human hair or whatever is down here on the floor. So right now I'm just going to pour in the rest of the solution um, into the reservoir. Actually, let me bring the camera back over so that you can see how this fits in. Sometimes it, it takes me a little bit to remember exactly how it fits in here. I tried it a couple of times and still uh, it's like a game of like figure out which way it goes. So there you can see how it um, fits in. So the clean water is in the bottom and then once I get it going the dirty water will show up at the top. actually pick this camera back up again <laughs> um, just so you can see like how the spin system works to get the mop on it. Um, I don't know if you can see like how the water comes how the water comes through these little pieces right here and then the bristles help to clean off any hair but right now I'm just getting the mop wet and then there are videos we have shown you like how you make the telescope and pole stay in one place um so i'm just gonna unclip it here and I'm about to try it out and so it's similar to or it gives me vibes of the um you call those things some of the other push mops, but particularly the slippers. And so, hoping like that it does more for picking up here and being able to transfer it to the tub or the container, the reservoir. So, well, I do have some hair being pushed around as you can see there. Here's what the mop now looks like with hair on it. Um, some of what's been picked up off the floor. So I'm coming over to the reservoir system to clip it back in. Gonna give it a few spins and then show you the aftermath. And you can see that there's dirty water showing up in there. Um, trying to do this with one hand while I'm holding the phone. So a lot of the results of what was on the bottom is now in there. And then here's what this looks like. You don't really see any hair on there. So it's not like you're putting hair um, or whatever you picked up off the floor back on the floor. That's what I particularly like about this um, is that you're not putting anything back on the floor. And then for the area, that I just mopped. You can see a light sheen um, from the water, but it's not soaking wet like it does with mop. So I'm gonna try another pass here to see if I can pick up some of the rest of this. Um, what's on the floor? I do like that it's getting along this edge um, pretty well, and that the corners are kind of, it's kind of able to get in the corners. It's not like it's a perfect triangle. So 
So, so far it looks better than it did before. It smells great. This is my cleaner. <laughs> Alright, here's a second view. You can see the, um, the hair along it again and different parts along the edges in particular. I'm put it back in. Give it another spin. So, I pretty much made two passes. Um, I think they say that to get the mop wet, wetter, you do it slower. And then to dry it off, you spin it faster. But let's see. So yeah, all the hair is off for there because of the bristles. And so this is the triangle eye mop. Um, spin mop. 